think it will thrill you. It may shock you. It might even horrify you. So if any of you feel that you do not care to subject your nerves to such a strain, now is your chance to... Uh, well, we've warned you. Hey guys, welcome to Happy Wax TV. Man, have I got a fucking treat for you guys tonight. The trailer we're going to be watching is for the movie called The Devil's Doorway. Now, I have read about this movie for the last, I don't know, two or three months. And um, it hasn't gotten a lot of, uh, you know, press and uh, coverage and stuff like that. But, man oh man, I'll tell you something. It played in uh, Seattle at a film festival there in May. And this thing got rave reviews. And it's actually got a 9. 9 on IMBD, 9 on the 10 for the reviews it's got. And I know you can't always put your trust in the reviews and the hype machine. Uh, you know, look at Hereditary. I mean, uh, <laughs> I, 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 I got such a, a ripping for that, you know, the review we did on that because we didn't love that movie like everybody else did. But man, oh man, I'll tell you, um, Hereditary is just one of those movies that was overhyped. And man, I don't know, like this this trailer is, is getting, like people are loving this fucking trailer that I've seen it. And the people that are talking about it, that, that saw it at the film festivals, uh, just fucking love it. Now it's playing again uh, in June on the 22nd at the uh, uh, <laughs> Cinepocalypse uh, uh, Film Festival in Chicago. And then um, it's getting released uh, July 13th. Now I don't think it's going to come to, um, to uh, you know, a large amount of theaters, but it is going to get, a, uh, you know, some art house theaters and then go video on demand. But you know what, here, let me, I want to talk about this because I, the stuff I've read about it is, is fucking so good. But let's watch the trailer first and then and then we'll talk about it after. I believe in God, but doing this kind of work doesn't bring you any closer to God. Look around you, John. Do you think God is here in this place? This place disgusts me. The people who run this place disgust me. Reverend Mother, would you like to comment about what's been going on? There is evil in this place. What's, what's happening here? This room is off limits, Father! There's something going on in this house. Hello? We're not prepared for this, Father Riley. I've seen moving statues. I've seen water turned into wine. I've seen miracles, John. But that's not what's happened here. Prepare yourself, Father. God in heaven. Evil is all around us, John. The devil doesn't have to hide. He roams freely amongst us. Father Thomas! The Father commands you! God the Son commands you! God the Holy Ghost commands you! Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. Jesus Christ. Woo! Okay, listen, I got fucking goosebumps. So bad that I actually fucking had tears starting in my eyes. Like, what? Like, Oh man, that fucking trailer looked awesome! Holy fuck! Okay, no wonder it got a, it's got a nine on IMBD. Man, I'll tell you, this thing has fucking awesomeness written all over it. Um, starting with the director. Now, this is his first full-length feature. Um, he, but I, when I started doing some research on this film, as soon as I saw uh, a Aislinn Clark's name attached to this, I thought, wow. Is this the same guy that did the uh, short film that I watched a couple years ago called Childer? And it is. If you haven't seen that short film, I'll try and find it. Um, if, if it's on YouTube or, or Vimeo or whatever, I'll leave it in the link in the uh, description box. But man, oh man, is it that, that fucking short film is amazing. And like this, this film looks like it's gonna fucking kill it. Like I, it takes place in the '60s, okay. And basically, it's a, an Irish movie. Um, Aislinn Clark, the director, is Irish, and then uh, obviously uh, the guys that play the uh, the uh, priests. Uh, let me just find their names here really quick. Um, 
Uh, Layla Roddy is Father Thomas, and then uh, Syrian Flynn is Father John, and then the uh, the uh, Mother Superior there uh, is Helen uh, Vernon, or Breen, sorry. And um, man, oh man, like this, even from the opening monologue there, I just it has like that Exorcist type feel to it. Uh, it's 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 got the old grainy look. Like a lot of times these, I shouldn't say this is like a lower budgeted movie, but it's not. Like you know, it has a pretty good budget but it's just a lot of times when they when they try and filter these movies to look like movies from like the 50s and 60s and 70s you can just tell it's like an overlay and it doesn't look very good but man this this movie when they when they filmed it I mean it looks like it is from the fucking 60s and I love too because they're they're trying to sell the film not as a found footage movie but suppressed footage by the Catholic Church so it even says in the uh, the trailer here that this this visit by these two fathers to this um, this woman's co co convent in uh, in Ireland there, and basically what they did is, do is they take in women um, like like prostitutes and you know back in the day women that are pregnant that weren't married and um, you know mentally handicapped women and stuff like that. So there's a whole bunch of like different women that that get stuffed into these places, and apparently there's a miracle happening. And what it is is the uh, statue of uh, Mary. Her eyes are, are starting to drip tears of blood. I don't know why they'd call that a miracle. I'd call that more fucking, <laughs> fucking creepy, but whatever. So they send these two fathers there to investigate it. And then, but what they find in this, this convent is, is uh, fucking craziness. So I love these style of movies, these possession, exorcist -y type movies. And I mean, when you make it old school, uh, it doesn't look like there's a lot of practical effects in this this trailer, which is awesome. Uh, it looks, or sorry, sorry, not practical, sorry, CGI effects. It looks like it's mostly practical, which which is awesome. And um, man, oh man, like I, I don't know, just the way it's filmed, even the opening monologue, like it just has this Exorcist type feel to it. The only thing, the only thing I didn't like about this trailer was the very very end. And man, I wish they would have left that out, or not even put it in the movie, but where the one father obviously is videotaping and, and then the, the bloody hands appear on the curtain and then they go for a jump scare and have the, uh, uh, you know, some sort of a demonic uh, woman, I'm assuming, uh, run through the curtain. So that was the only thing I didn't like about the trailer. And I hope this movie isn't full of that style of scare where it's a lot of jump scares because, I, I don't know, just the creepiness that this trailer has, it doesn't, doesn't seem like it needs it. So, and I don't know about you guys, but whenever you throw in accents, whether it be like an English accent or you're an Australian or like an Irish accent and you put it in these like possession exorcist style movies, it just, it just fucking adds to the creepiness. I don't, I don't know about you guys, but it does it for me. I mean, Max von Sydow in The Exorcist with his accent, I mean, it's just, it's just crazy. <laughs> and I fucking love it and it just heightens the suspense and the creepiness. And man, I can't, I can't wait to see this fucking, I could, I could ramble on about this flick all night. So. Whew. Anyways, I will link um, Aislinn uh, Clark's uh, short film, uh, Child Earth, if I can find it. Uh, it is definitely worth seeing. It is fucking awesome. It's about 20 minutes long, but man, it, it's, it's, it's so good. And, um, oh, I don't know. <laughs> it just, it, this movie, okay, so this movie is being played at a film festival in June, okay? And then it comes out uh, for release, like, like proper release, uh, July 13th. So we don't have to wait very long, about a month from now. Um, for this movie to come out now. I don't think it's going to get a wide release I think I already said that so it's probably just going to go video on demand. It might play in a couple art house theaters But uh, man if it comes to a theater in uh, your neck of the woods uh, I would definitely go to the theater and watch this fucking movie But if not video on demand we can enjoy it in the comfort of our homes But holy fuck does it ever look good? So anyways guys, let me know what you think it's called the devil's doorway again I just want to quickly say thank you to all the new subscribers Man, we're coming up on 500 really quick here, so that's that's awesome. Really building this channel up uh, again, and um, I, I just you know I'm gonna wait. I want to do podcasts or get into podcasting, and I want to do live streams. But again, you have to have like a big audience for those. So I want to wait till I get to around a, a thousand subscribers, and then I'll you know start doing that stuff. And uh, yeah, but again, if you are a new subscriber, I just want you to know because um, I say this in tons of videos. I don't monetize my channel. Um, I, I'm not doing this to make money. I just, I just do it because I love horror movies and I love this platform because it lets me talk to you guys about all this, this great fucking horror stuff that I get sent to me and the stuff that I 
pick up from my collections and it's just it's, it's a lot of fun and it's fucking great and you meet a lot of nice people on here whether it's people who watch you or other horror channels that that you know talk to you and comment and you converse back and forth i just i just love it so um yeah i don't know <laughs> anyways guys thanks thanks for all the new subscribers uh check this movie out devil's doorway comes out july 13th let me know what you think guys and as always stay scared